His Excellency VJ Kaduja, most welcome. The Chief Secretary to the present cabinet, Dr. Swanda, has represented. The Chairperson of the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on the Industry and Commerce, Honorable Sako. Senior government officials who are here. Chairman of RJ Corporation, uh, Mr. Jaipurira. This is a show name. I'm sure your parents came from here. The Vice President of Arun Beverages, Zimbabwe Private Limited, Mr. Murawa. Management and staff of Varun Beverages Zimbabwe Private Limited, captains of Anderson Commerce who are here, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is my singular honor and pleasure to have been invited again to officiate at the commissioning of the Varun beverages, water, and the bottle closures production line. This is in line with the National Industrial Development Policies objectives, which are premised on opening up our country for business, modernization, industrialization, and investment promotion in order to attain broad-based economic empowerment of our people, inclusive economic growth and employment creation. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I recall that on 13 June 2018, I was here to officially open the U.S. state million first phase of the Varun Beverages bottling plant. It was then that you outlined your organization's vision regarding your investment in Zimbabwe. We had private discussions at length with you, Mr. Chairman, and uh, I promised you that Zimbabwe is really open for business and they will go out of our way to facilitate investment which creates employment and bringing in skills and technologies which we do not have in the country. And I'm happy to say you are walking the talk. On the 6th of December 2019, I joined you again to officially open the U.S. 20 million second phase of the Varun Beverages cane manufacturing plant, as well as the plastic bottle and the pre forms manufacturing plant. <coughs> All this technology was coming to Zimbabwe for the first time. Congratulations. <clears throat> to further reinforce their investment, Varun uh, Beverages operationalized the third phase of their expansion, which I commissioned again on 6th October 2021. Almost every year, we have something to be commissioned. I'm enthused to be with you today to commission the US 20 million fourth phase of the Varum Beverages expansion project. But there's a fifth phase here. What was it? I commissioned the fifth phase. Fifth phase. Sir. State of art warehousing facility. Warehousing and cap plant, sir. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So we can make half a billion. No, no, we, yeah, we mustn't forget that. The fact that you have invited me to officiate this commission and ceremony demonstrates that you are indeed walking the talk 
with regards to fulfilling your pledges, which Varun Beverages and other investors have in the progressive policies and conducive business operating environment being fostered by the Second Republic. Indeed, the vibrance of the economy through modernization and innovation by both government and our private sector bears testimony of the good and the conducive policies that are in place in the economy. Let me assure you, Mr. Chairman, that we as the Second Republic will always, always fulfill our side of obligation. <laughs> Such investment projects as the one we are witnessing today, as well as those by other investors, are quite crucial as they significantly contribute to economic growth and create employment for our citizens. When I was told that uh, in 2021, I did lay some brick, or bricks actually, when this huge warehouse was being constructed, I marvel at how such a small space becomes so big after construction. At the time when uh, the chairman was explaining to me that this will house a factory of the size he was describing, I said, well, since I'm a lawyer, I need to keep quiet. The fact that Varun beverages in Zimbabwe will no longer be importing but manufacturing preforms locally is commendable. <laughs> this is in line with my government's policy of import substitution and export development. It is my hope that this investment will translate into the production of more affordable goods, while at the same time reducing reliance on imports, which saves on the much needed foreign currency and our current sanctions status. Going forward, the rise in production capacity will enable the government to not only cater for the domestic market, but also increase export volumes into the region and beyond. I will be most excited if it happens in my anime watch that we export to Europe and America. We impose sanctions on us. I can see the effect is coming closer. Ladies and gentlemen, my government is implementing policies that have seen the prevailing stabilization and the growth of the economy, improved service delivery, as well as implementation of robust infrastructure projects. The development of quality, reliable, sustainable, and resilient infrastructure in energy, roads, water, as well as other regional and trans-border infrastructure, among others, is enabling access to markets, thereby facilitating trade and gradually increasing demand for our products. And the more there is competition, the better for the consumer. As I said before, uh, Varun beverages come into the market. Fewer and fewer people were buying beverages because they were expensive. But now the price has gone down more than 60%. Again, congratulations. 
This is part of my government's initiatives to focus on industrialization as well as increasing our production and productivity capabilities in a highly competitive global landscape. This is also in line with sustainable development goal number nine on rebuilding resilient infrastructure in our respective economies, promoting sustainable industrialization and fostering innovation and technology. Our friend to all and enemy to none policy thrust with the external world is resulting in a systematic transformation of value addition and beneficiation through private sector-led growth. As such, the manufacturing sector is now on a rebound and capacity utilization has increased sharply in our economy. This has also seen locally made products continually increasing their share on shop shelves around the country. At the time the Second Republic came into being, we occupied between 35 to 37 percent of our um, retail shelves. But now I'm informed we're around 81 percent in terms of production globally. My government is continually working towards improving the sustainable investor-friendly business environment. This in turn should attract more foreign direct investment into our economy, into our country, and generate employment in all sectors of the economy. We value dialogue between industry, commerce, and the government so that we can continuously create an environment where you can thrive in the way we can continuously build power. On their part, local authorities are implored to play a pivotal role in ensuring that businesses access consistent and efficient services to foster local industrialization. It is my expectation, therefore, that local authorities will proactively work towards attracting new investors through the provision of affordable service land and other incentives. Uh, the Secretary for Permanent Secretary for Harare Province. That is your message. Ladies and gentlemen. I challenge Varum beverages to take advantage of the market of over 1 billion people which is available through the African continental free trade area, which will see an expansion in the free movement of goods and services across the 55 countries of our continent. This is in addition to the already existing markets created under various bilateral and regional trading agreements such as COMESA and SADIC. We must make in Zimbabwe for the world. In order to tap into these vast markets, Zimbabwe has adopted a global value chain approach and is therefore increasing its participation in the regional and the global supply chains as we endeavor to attain our modernization and industrialization projects. I'm happy that Zimbabwe and, the, and India are developing economic cooperation in various areas of our economy. The Indian economy, I think, now ranks the sixth, eh? fifth. Oh, sorry, I put you down by one level. Ranks the fifth largest economy in the world. 
So there's a lot for us to benefit from. So the continued investment by Varum Beverages in increased production capacity as well as employment creation are commendable. I'm pleased that Varum uh, Beverages Zimbabwe has benefited in excess of 2,000 families from direct employment and more than 20,000 families indirectly. As we were walking, I said to the chairman, hey, this factory is very big. Is this the same size you have in India? He says, oh, no, 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 no. This is a small fraction of what they have in India. I said, ah, well, I've never been there. So anyway, I, was, I would agree. <laughs> to me, this is very vast. It's very big. And if we say this is very small, hey, we have a long way to go there. <laughs> the issuance of mobile cordial dispensing units to most uh, women and the youth is also commendable, as it uplifts the status of women and our youth in Zimbabwe, while making the Varum beverages products accessible to the people. Actually, the entering into the market by Varun Beverages products, it has helped the access by a majority of our people to beverages. In line with efforts to capacitate employees through skilling and reskilling and the mount skilling, I am pleased that Varun Beverages has opened an inner house Varun PEPS Academy to train young graduates and develop them to become future leaders in industry and commerce. This shows the trust Varun Beverage has in both the human capital development as well as future prospects for growth in our country, Zimbabwe. I call upon other entities to embark on community social responsibilities and other welfare programs, as well as support the local production value chain for raw materials. Ladies and gentlemen, the world is increasingly becoming sophisticated and diversified. In this regard, I implore industry to work hand in glove with our institutions of higher learning in order to keep pace with technological advancements worldwide. The countries which we call the first world are the first world because they have embraced science and technology and innovation. For us to leapfrog the development of our own country, its industrialization, we must also embrace science, technology and innovation. This would allow Zimbabwe to leapfrog into modern era instead of following a linear progression of industrialization. Through partnerships with our talented young girls and the boys at the innovation hubs and in industrial parks at our institutions of higher learning, I have no doubt that we will witness the development of more and more groundbreaking inventions and innovations by our talented young generation. Under my administration, the Innovation Science and Technology Development Priority Program will continue to focus on the innovation type of industrialization. This will act as a conduit for universities and colleges to innovate products based on Zimbabwe's natural heritage while promoting import substitution and domestication of value chains as critical pillars for industrialization, modernization, and economic growth. Zimbabwe is open for business and they will continue to be open for business. As such, my administration remains committed to ensuring that we all work towards achieving great success for our motherland, brick upon brick. 
and a stone upon stone. I wish to advise our people throughout the value chains in the industry and commerce and in government, and in government, to share up and catch up with the focus and the thrust for modernization. Hence, I call upon other investors to come and take advantage of the main opportunities which Zimbabwe has to offer in industry, in commerce, in mining, in tourism, and in ICT, including the conducive business operating environment prevailing across all sectors of the economy. I wish Varun Beverages the best of success and look forward to you feathering your investment in this beautiful country, Zimbabwe. With these remarks, ladies and gentlemen, it is now my honor and privilege to declare the Varun Beverages and the Bottle Closure Projects Phase 5 officially open. God bless you. God bless you.